Hello everybody, I'm Nick and this is I want to talk to you about one of the questions I get all the time and that is what IDE am I using? It comes in many forms. Um, I've seen it as what plugin are you using on Visual Studio Code to make it look like this or is that resharper or how is your Visual Studio looking like this and mine doesn't. So it's along those lines but the truth is I'm using a completely separate non-Microsoft made IDE called JetBrains Rider. It's made by JetBrains, the same people who make ReSharper, and it effectively combines the best qualities of Visual Studio and ReSharper into one ID, which is fully cross-platform. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not actually paying for Rider. It is a paid product. I'm not paying for it myself. Uh, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and we get a license for free. Um, that being said, before I was a Microsoft MVP, I was actually paying it out of my own pocket. I was paying for ReSharper, and then when Rider came out, I was able to transfer that like with a small fee to a rider license. It was um, a cross-promotion type of thing. So I have been using it since almost the very beginning and I've been through the rough parts of it, but also through the nice things of it. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about this, what I think, and just give you my opinion on the product. Now, before I go start touching points and say this, 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 and this, and this is why uh, it's better or worse than Visual Studio, for example, or Visual Studio Code, I want to talk to you about why I am using it. And you might not have the same use case as me. So let's talk about that first. Now, the first point is I don't only write .NET or C Sharp. I actually write a lot of Java and a lot of Kotlin as well, which means I'm using a Java IDE to do that and a Kotlin IDE. And the idea of choice there is IntelliJ IDEA, which is a free... Uh, idea made by JetBrains. And because it's made by the same people on the same skeleton, I can take all the configuration I have there and I can use it in Rider. So all my key bindings, all my themes, all of that, everything is just cross, um, not cross platform, but cross ID. So it gives you this nice uh, quality on the ID where I can be on my Mac or I can be on my Linux or I can be on my PC. I can code Java, Kotlin, C Sharp, .NET, whatever, and I can have the exact same experience. And this is very important for my productivity because I can just, for example, I might want to start learning Go and they have um, a Golang ID there. So I could very much just transfer everything that I have from my rider into that Go ID and have the exact same experience. And this is awesome. I cannot stress that enough. This is probably one of the biggest points where I personally use it. And the other one is because it is cross-platform, I know there's Visual Studio for Mac, but the experience, the developer experience between one and the other are miles away. Like I could not code in Visual Studio Mac. I just couldn't. And that's my personal opinion. Uh, Visual Studio on Windows, amazing. It's fine. It's perfect. And with ReSharper is even better, but it's taking a performance hit. Rider is addressing that performance hit by doing a lot of optimizations and by owning the way things run. You know, you're not just a parasite. You're not just a plugin on the platform. You're actually the platform and you can optimize for that. Now, Microsoft has invested heavily in Visual Studio, and I can see that it's going in a way better place than when it was when I switched to Rider, but I'd rather pay for Rider than go back to Visual Studio at this point. I think the last thing I want to touch upon before I move just on the Visual Studio and IntelliJ comparison is that you can take Visual Studio code and turn it into an ID, but by default, it's not an ID, it's a text editor. And I'm sure you can have an amazing cross-platform experience with Visual Studio Code, but I'd rather have an integrated development environment like Rider that comes with a lot of stuff out of the box. I can have language support for so many different languages out of the box with autocompletes and syntaxes and whatever than taking Visual Studio Code and trying to turn it in, into Visual Studio. And that exists and it's called Visual Studio. I'd rather use that. Uh, the problem is... I cannot use the same Visual Studio in all um, environments. So yeah. Now the biggest advantage out of all of them is that it is truly fully cross-platform. Whatever you have on Windows, you have on Linux and you have on Mac. It's the same thing, nothing changes. And that's because it's made in Java or Kotlin, I think, but it runs on the JVM and it can just run the exact same way everywhere because Java is cross-platform which is fairly nice. It's, it's, um, it makes you wonder what Microsoft can do with .NET uh, being cross-platform now, uh, making a truly cross-platform IDE. With that being said, that's a huge advantage, especially for somebody who is writing in many machines. I have a Mac, I have Linux on my laptop, and I have my desktop, which is Windows. So it's a huge thing for me. 
Another huge advantage that you also have with reshopper. So Rider does have reshopper features, so I'm not gonna mention it every single time, but it is being able to debug external code without having debug symbols and all that. Rider can do that. Uh, Visual Studio cannot out of the box. So it's a good selling point because sometimes the library that you might be using might have a bug and you don't want to go download the github sources look into the code try to think where your code would go and try to find the bug in the library you can just debug in the code and get there and that's amazing developer experience it really comes down to that another thing i've mentioned right after i transitioned is that you can do solution wide or folder wide um searching and replacing and it's so, so, so much better than what you get in Visual Studio. It's insanely better. You really get this more fluid development experience by using Rider as opposed to something like Visual Studio, which feels like, it feels more clanky. It feels like an old times ID that would run only on Windows. You know, it's like comparing a WinForms project and something that runs in Electron being backed by a, um, a web technology that makes it look very nice and feel very nice. Unit testing is a very big thing for me and TDD as well. I do it all the time and code coverage is very important. Visual Studio on its free version doesn't actually have code coverage. You have to have an enterprise license. Um, something similar exists in Rider. You need to have the .ultimate package which is just 10 pounds more per year than the plain version of Rider. so you're probably gonna buy that because it has reshopper dot memory dot trace dot cover it has a bunch of other things and all of these just give you a nice feature set for your uh, Rider experience and one of them is code coverage every time you run your tests you get your code coverage 90 percent coverage on my unit testing or whatever and you don't need to pay an enterprise license in Visual Studio to have that, you can just have it on Rider for 10 more pounds. The number of quick tips and refactorings and all that is just way, way better and way more. It's way more responsive as well. And I do have a pretty beefy machine as well, but Rider just runs better on my machine, at least my machine, uh, than Visual Studio does, even with that reshopper. Also because JetBrains have all of these other IDs, they have these language analyzers for many other projects and they can just cross use them in different IDs. So if I have TypeScript or JavaScript or any other language on my um, rider, the the project will have language support enabled for other languages as well. So it sees TypeScript, it says, I can optimize that. Let me show you a suggestion there. So you have these small things that you think you don't need, but you kind of do. And you get them for SQL Server as well. You get them for a lot of things. It's very nice. It also has a plugin environment, same way that uh, Microsoft has one with extensions. Um, but the good thing is, you can actually, in some cases, in most cases, you can use a plugin that's made for an other ID type like IntelliJ into your rider. So because Java is more popular with IntelliJ, you can actually benefit off of that in a parasitic nature by using their um, plugins into your own service. Now let's move to the disadvantages, of which there are a few. Um, first, it's not free. You have to pay for it. I think it's £109 a year just for Rider and £119 a year for the Dot .ultimate, which also has Rider, Resopper um, and a bunch of other uh, JetBrain related um, services. However, in most companies, you should be able to expense that. At least no company that I've worked for, um, big or small, has refused me to expense um, something for the ID. Another problem is because some things are Visual Studio specific, whenever a C-sharp language comes out or whenever a new .NET version comes out, it might take some time for code completion or feature support, refactoring support for those new features to actually be in place by JetBrains. Because remember, they're completely separate from Microsoft. They don't actually have everything on launch. And Microsoft can know and prepare everything for Visual Studio, but you might have to wait for JetBrains. An example for that is that when Blazor came out, and even now Blazor support on um, Rider is not great, your debugging experience might not be as good as Visual Studio's, and you will also have this thing where something won't autocomplete correctly and you could break the project accidentally. It's not common, but it could happen. And that might be a deal breaker for you. One of the things I really love about Visual Studio is the peak definition feature, which sadly doesn't work the way that it works in Visual Studio in Rider. That's very sad. 
I really liked it. Basically, in the C-sharp file that you're working on, you should be able to just pick definition on a method and it will show the method like in front of you, like a hint, the implementation, and then go away. In Rider, I think it's a pop-up window, which is not great developer experience, and it's such a shame that it's not working and in the same way that it is working in Visual Studio. I guess I can go on and on adding features on advantages and disadvantages, but the main thing, the main idea is that if you're working with more than one languages and you are using these other IDs anyway, it makes sense for you to jump on Rider. Even if you're not using these other languages, I would suggest that you use the trial, the 30 day trial that there is there. You download it, you use it, you see if you like it, and if you do like it, just buy it. Um, it might be too expensive for some people, but if you're making the money out of the programs that you're writing, if you're more productive, you might be able to expense it out of its performance and its features, if you know what I mean. At least that's my opinion on the matter. What do you think? What ID are you using and have you used Rider? Leave a comment in the description down below. That's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my GitHub sponsors for making these videos possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find a link in the description down below. Leave a like if you liked this video, subscribe for more content like this, and ring the bell as well, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.